good evening children see today we are going to learn refraction of light through glass prism next we are also going to find the refractive index of the glass prism the materials needed to do this activity one is the glass prism this is triangular glass prism the angle between these two faces is how much 60 degrees what is that 60 degrees this is one refracting surface this is another refracting surface the light which enters from this surface and emerges out from this surface okay so the light which is incident here emerges out from this surface within the glass prism the light rays suffers refraction are you clear next so a triangular prism and white paper this is the white paper next one board next drawing pins or soft board pins next one pencil and a protractor is needed is needed next before starting the experiment see what you have to do you fix the white paper on the drawing board with the help of the pins but like this now keep the prism trace the boundary of the prism Now, take the name it as A, B, C. Mark a point on this refracting surface A, B. Draw the normal. See this one, you must be very careful while drawing the normal. See this one. The zero of the, this one, this midpoint should coincide with this point. Okay, so now normal in the sense it is making an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, next see this one dry ray making an angle of making an angle of 5 degrees. See this I am. drawing tray making an angle of 35 degrees 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees and 35 degrees this is 35 degrees my incident ray okay again you keep the prism triangular prism in its original position Fix two pins. See this one. Fix two pins on the incident ray which we have drawn. Two pins from the other refracting surface, fix two more pins in straight line with the previous two pins. Observe this. Remove the pins. Mark the points. Join these two points.
name the points as this is PQ, this is RS. PQ represents the incident ray and RS represents the emergent ray. Next, join these two points. Let it be M and this point is N. Join the points M and N with the help of the scale. This represents refracted ray within the glass slab. Sorry, glass prism. Now, and the incident ray in the forward direction. Emergent ray in the backward direction. Extend the incident ray in the forward direction and the emergent ray in the backward direction. These two rays meet at this point. Some angle is formed. This angle is known as what we call it angle of deviation. What we call it angle of deviation. Let us measure the angle of deviation. Here I am measuring the angle of deviation. Keep the prism in its original position. Now the angle of incident is equal to how many degrees? 35 degrees. Right. Angle of incident is equal to 35 degrees. What is the angle of emergent? Angle of emergent is exactly 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Everyone write down that. Angle of incident is 35 degrees. Once again, you focus it. Angle of emergent. Angle of emergent. Hmm. Is 70 degrees. Angle of deviation. Observe the deviation. Angle of deviation is equal to. This angle of deviation is exactly 42 degrees. See this one. This is 42 degrees. Angle of deviation. D is equal to 42 degrees. Next. Again, see this. The angle of incident is 40 degrees. Switch on the line. Right. See this. This. After this, angle of incident is equal to 40 degrees. Angle of emergent is exactly 60 degrees. After this one, angle of emergent is 60 degrees. Angle of emergent is 60 degrees. Write down that. Deviation is exactly, see this. Angle of deviation exactly 41 degrees. Incident 45 degrees. I am taking the reading for 45 degrees. Now you focus. Focus the laser light. See this? Uh, switch on. Observe this. Observe this carefully. When the angle of incident is 45 degrees, angle of emergent exactly 56 degrees. Angle of emergent is 56 degrees. After this, have you written the values? Now, the ang angle of deviation is exactly 45 degrees. It is exactly 45 degrees. 30, 40, 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. See this. It is 50 degrees. Angle of incident is 50 degrees. Just it. Oh, now, focus it. See this? Right. Angle of incident is 50 degrees. Angle of emergent is exactly 60 degrees. See this? See this? Angle of emergent is exactly 60 degrees. Now let us measure the angle of deviation. The angle of deviation is exactly 50 degrees. Write down your values. It is 55 degrees. Observe this. 
angle of incident is 55 degrees observe this carefully angle of emergent let us measure the angle the angle of emergent see this one 10 20 30 40 exactly 45 degrees observe this one angle of emergent is 45 degrees angle of deviation deviation is 40 degrees 10 20 30 40 angle of deviation is 40 degrees here 40 41 degrees next one Keep it. Uh, angle of incident angle of deviation angle of emergent angle of refraction emergent 70 70 degrees a plus d angle of prism is a is equal to 60 degrees it is 60 degrees that is 60 plus deviation is 42 60 plus 42 is how much 102 degrees i plus e what is the i here 35 here see this one i is 35 degrees plus emergent is 70 degrees or 71 degrees actually it is 71 this is correct it as 71 degrees so 35 plus 71 how much is it 70 105 degrees okay there is a difference of 3 degrees considerable next one 40 degrees next one 45 degrees for 45 degrees what is the deviation it is 45 only okay right emergent 50 huh? 56 next a plus d 60 plus deviation is what is the deviation 45 60 plus 45 is 105 i plus e i is 40 plus 56 how much i i is how much 45 na 45 plus 56 how much 101 degrees what is the next one 50 degrees now what is the deviation 50 60 or 50 50 okay next angle of emergent 60 a plus d 60 plus 50 is equal to i plus e i is 50 plus emergent is it is exactly equal to 110 same next one 55 degrees what is deviation 40 next huh? 45 a plus d 60 plus deviation is how much 40 60 plus 40 is 100 degrees i plus e i is 55 i is 55 plus e emergent is how much 45 degrees 55 plus 45 how much is it 100 degrees or not see this one here in two readings due to parallax error some other errors there is a difference of one or two degrees it is negligible negligible now what you have to do you have to draw the graph for angle of incident and angle of deviation okay taking the values these values angle of incident on x axis and angle of deviation on y axis you will get a curve for certain angle of incident you will get angle of minimum deviation angle of minimum deviation so the angle of minimum deviation something you will get maybe i think angle of minimum deviation is equal to most probably 42 or 43 degrees if you plot the graph okay so the refractive index is equal to mu is equal to sin a plus dm by 2 by sin a by 2 apply this formula and substitute the values so you will get nearly its value equal to mu is equal to 1.5 nearly equal
refractive index. Are you clear? So you get the graph paper and we will flat the graph by taking angle of incident on x axis and deviation on y axis. Are you clear about that one? Okay? Right. Note down these values. If you have any doubt while drawing the curve, you ask me. Take the scale. Proper scale is very, very important. Okay. On x axis, you take the angle of incident in degrees, angle of deviation on y axis. Okay. That is also in degrees, maybe 10 degrees, 30, 20 degrees, 30 degrees like this. You will get the curve like this. You will get a curve like this. See this one. For certain angle of incident, you will get a angle of minimum deviation. This is angle of minimum deviation for certain. Here it may be some 42 or 43, around you will get it. Okay? Write down the, your practical values. Okay? Are you right? Thank